In 2013, Anglo-American Platinum commissioned a study to assess the potential of building a chrome recovery plant at the Amandel Belt complex in Limpopo. The study was completed in 2014 and identified the project as financially viable and sustainable. The plant was built at a cost of 474 million rand and entered production in 2016. The project is a joint venture with Bapala Sianda Chrome that brings together Anglo-American Platinum, technical partner Sianda Resources and the Bapala Nebamansere Development Trust, which represents the community of Mansere. The formation of Bapalani Sianda Chrome represents a new dawn of opportunity for the community of Mansere. I'm, I'm proud, you know, especially you see the scale of the plant. But I think what probably touched me a lot were kids that never had jobs. And in December we had news that so-and-so is working, he's bought new shoes, he's bought the grandmother this. And you realize the way you change lives. As joint venture partners in the development of the Atomatic Chrome Recovery Plant, this community will sustainably share in the benefits created by mining on their doorstep. We have built infrastructure projects, um, we have built schools, we have built roads, we have built clinics. Uh, you have seen uh, Naomi Baba, for instance, uh, crash. We have put big infrastructures into our communities. A huge investment uh, went into empowering and building infrastructure into communities. Guided by the Bapalani Bamansere Trust, this will result in much needed community development by the community, for the community, for many years to come. Plante na ka tsulu felo ya night lighting gore e tlo go thusa sechaba sa Manzere ka go tlisa letseno la ntla la bobedi go tlisa di di tiro and then le go tlisa di tlabologo ka gore motsare no sa ntso logo mara go thata ka di tlabologo. With our roots firmly in African soil, Anglo-American Platinum is committed to broad-based empowerment. For me personally, is it will start with the experience. I've gained a lot of experience and on also how to work with people, how to help them out, like on a daily basis. Then for them, then sitting back at home doing nothing, come here to learn how to, to farm and making something from nothing, it really helped them a lot. During construction, significant focus was placed on using local contractors who employed about 130 community members for the duration of the building. These workers were provided with skills development, making them better qualified to find jobs in the construction sector. Chromium is the 13th most common element, and South Africa is estimated to hold more than 80% of the world's chromite reserves. The plant houses two identical chrome extraction modules, which receive treated, concentrated slurry from the nearby concentrator complex. Then, extract chromite from the slurry to produce commercial-grade chromite concentrate. The concentrate, which looks like fine black sand once it's dried, is transported by truck to South African customers and to ports to be shipped overseas. About 80% of the chrome produced by the plant is exported to China and the rest is sold in South Africa. Chrome brings amazing properties to the metals with which it is alloyed and is mainly used to manufacture stainless steel, which is corrosion resistant, mechanically strong, heat resistant, hard wearing and shiny. While chrome is the resource, people are the business. This is one of the many ways in which we add value to the communities who play host to our mining operations. Our employees and their families are very much part of these communities. The infrastructure, it was not good at first, but uh, since Anglo came in, they built us three blocks of which they are now in good standing. Anglo-American Platinum is dedicated to the communities that we serve and improving the lives of everyone around us. We need to change our society in terms of being so dependent to the government. You know, uh, communities can stand on their own. You know, they've got land, they've got to use that land in a form that benefits them without really dependent on the, on the government. 
we keep open lines of communication and collaborate with employees and the communities to ensure a common sense of purpose as we build value together. The safety, health and well-being of our employees and communities is a top priority and this plant strives for perfection in this regard. As a responsible miner, we also take all of our social and environmental obligations seriously. And our open and constructive relationship with government helps us play a role in delivering on the goals of the National Development Plan. We are committed to creating a sustainable, positive influence with this operation, working responsibly to the benefit of all stakeholders. Through our social investments in infrastructure, the provision of services, housing, schools and clinics, we touch the lives of thousands in our host communities every day, improving their quality of life and creating economic opportunities for them. Some of the benefits to the community you know, has been just job creation. I think they haven't realized how big you know, this thing is going to move the community from, you know, to survive on CSI, to be a self-sustainable com you know, you know, community where rural economic development has been done. And we source goods and services to the value of billions of rands locally each year, working with our suppliers to create sustainable communities for the future. This chrome recovery plant will be a leader in demonstrating how the mining sector can be a catalyst for growth and development and will play its part to ensure South Africa regains its place as a competitive investment region. I the 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 the